But first news that we are getting from Gaza, Vion has been covering the developments at the Gaza-Israel border. Our West Asia Bureau Chief Daniele Pagani stationed at Ramallah near the border. In fact, uh, he was at the Gaza border. He was filing a report from uh, this area. He came under a hail of rubber bullets from the Israeli security authorities, undeterred by the commotion Daniele is reporting. And he, he sent us this report just a few minutes back. In the first day of Ramallah general strike revealed by Palestinian authorities here in the city of Ramallah, Israeli forces are currently charging the Palestinians uh, protesting Daniele Pagani from uh, Ramallah for view. By Palestinian authorities here in the city of Ramallah. Remember, Israeli protests flared up after uh, charging the, Palestinians the U.S. shifted its embassy Daniele from Tel Aviv from to Jerusalem. Ramallah. The decision was announced in December last year for the past six months. Uh, there has been violence, sporadic violence in the region, but, uh, but, it, but it took a, a turn for the worse. On Monday, 58 people were killed, more than 2,000 injured in the protests and the Israeli action that followed. The Prime Minister of Israel, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, called it a, a glorious day, a moment of history, and flanked by U.S. President Donald Trump's daughter, Ivanka, and his son-in-law, Jared Kushner. The embassy was inaugurated. The ceremony was conducted in Jerusalem while Gaza burned. These are pictures that, uh, that Daniele sent us while he was reporting from the Gaza border coming under attack from rubber bullets. The issue has been taken up at the United Nations a few minutes back. We heard the Israeli ambassador to the UN making his case uh, as uh, the UK has called for an independent investigation into who's at, at, at fault. Were these non-violent protests by the Palestinians? What happened at the Gaza border is something that uh, the international community wants to know about. Saudi Arabia, for one, has rejected the U.S. decision to move its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Fifty-eight people killed in yesterday's clashes. Tuesday marked the eruption of fresh round of violence across the Gaza-Israel border. There are reports that an eight-month-old baby has died in the tear gas shelling by Israeli authorities. The Palestinians buried those who died yesterday. In the clashes, the protests followed United States shifting its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem in Israel on Monday. Both Germany and the UK, as I said, have called for an independent probe into the violence, and Saudi Arabia has rejected the move, the transfer of the embassy to Jerusalem. The bloodshed has triggered sharp criticism from world leaders, with some calling it a massacre. France and Britain have urged restraint. The White House pinned the blame entirely on Gaza's ruling Hamas group, describing Israel's actions as actions of self-defense in the interest of the country's border. The UN Security Council is meeting to discuss the violence. The meeting follows a request from Kuwait to discuss the killing of 58 Palestinians by Israeli gunfire amid mass protests on Monday. Donald Trump's move to shift this embassy to Jerusalem comes after his December recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Turkish President Erdogan has called the actions of the Israeli forces, quote-unquote, a genocide. And uh, Israel has been described as a terrorist state. Israel, in contrast, regards all of the city, including the eastern sector it captured in the 1967 Middle East war, as Israel's indivisible part. I mean, you can see Palestinians are protesting close to the Beiti Hill. This is where the Israeli military headquarter in the West Bank is located. Clashes have started. It is not a too bad a situation as of now, but people, uh, the people's number is increasing. And Israeli soldiers descended the hills and they are preparing for tougher moments during the day. What we are seeing today is a protest for what happened in Gaza, where nearly 60 Palestinians were killed by Israeli security forces and Palestinians are protesting against uh, what they believe is a massacre and also against the silence of the international community and they are also protesting uh, for the relocation of the United States Embassy from the internationally recognized uh, capital city of uh, Israel, Tel Aviv, to the wholly contested the city of Jerusalem, which Palestinians also consider their capital city. Daniele Pagani from Ramallah for Vion.